or the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we got the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands. Now the Ace of Cups is a very, very powerful, positive card in the tarot relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings and it usually means love. It can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Now things probably felt like they were looking up in the recent past. People would have responded to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at that time. So you should have been feeling really good about life in general. It would have been a great time to make friends. Now this Ace of Cups is with the Page of Wands, which are warm, ambitious, and usually high achievers, the Page of Wands. Now, if this was not an actual person that was in your life, it indicates the energy of easy distractions. So, it's about trying to stay focused. If you started some things, or this card has indicated that things you started some time ago, they were starting to come to life, starting to come to fruition. It could also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page, it brings a really positive energy, but you have to supply the follow-through because of the energy of easy distraction. So, in the recent past, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. There was a new, it looks like a new love in the recent past. Now, keep in mind, the recent past could have been a week ago, could have been a month ago, three months ago, six months or more. There was some new love with this Ace of Cups. And it felt like um, it brought a lot of warmth in your life. And there was deep attraction. The Ace of Cups is about deep attraction. Now, I'm picking up, it's with this page of wands. Uh, this person could have been younger than you because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, student, immaturity, someone younger than you. Um, this person was very excited about this connection because uh, Page of Wands is about having a lot of passion, a whole lot of passion. So this person um, was always excited to come towards you. Uh, Page of Wands is also about messages of love. So you probably did a lot of communicating and talking to this person by way of messaging or maybe in person but uh, this person that you dealt with in the recent past uh, they were excited to take action toward you like I said I'm picking up that this person was younger than, a, than you Capricorn or for a lot of you Capricorns some new beginning and it felt great this person had a lot of mojo for you. And probably you for them. Because Ace of Cups is powerful. So let's take a look and see what the present time. What we got for the present time for coming up in August. So we got the Queen of Wands and we got the Eight of Cups. Now the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. Now, when it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. The queen is positive, uplift, uplifting energy. Now, when it does stand for an actual person in your life, she's a good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, with the queen of wands, if you're trying to conceive, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So if you're not trying to conceive, be careful. Queen of Wands is with the Eight of Cups, which means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether that's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but this separation is in your best interest. That's just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you 
it usually means that you're the one who will make a choice very often when one door closes the next door in front of you will open so for the present time coming up in august it looks like It looks like your person. Well, let me start by saying it looks like there's a separation. Uh, someone is I'm picking up the both of you are deciding. I was going to say someone is deciding, you or your person. But I'm, I'm feeling that this could be a mutual walk away for the both of you. Um, so both of you may be deciding to end this connection, to walk away, uh, leave behind. That's what the Eight of Cups is about, moving on. Um, now, your person, they could have been really determined about this connection and really tried to work out any difficult, dif difficulties or problems in the connection. But it looks like, ultimately, you two will cho choose to leave this situation, to leave the connection. Um, Eight of Cups is also about the connection going sour. So you two walk away. You two you could be walking away in, in August. This could be this page of wands that you dealt with in the recent past and you two had a beautiful new beginning at one time, but it looks like things might go sour coming up in, in August and your person is going to try to make it work. Because with the Queen of Wands, they're very determined and confident. And the Queen of Wands knows her worth. And is used to getting what she wants. So your person might try to convince you to stay. But there, there is a separation of moving on. Abandoning the connection. Now let's take a look at... The challenge, we got the star card and the six of swords. Now the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have felt in a while. You're more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted. But once again, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Now, this can also be a spiritual card, and you could find yourself at least feeling at one with all of creation, and it's not a common feeling, so try to savor it. The star card is with the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. It indicates some type of movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually this is a change for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. The six, it shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery, it's going to be helpful, and this doesn't have to cost money. So the challenge for you, Capricorn is it looks like because of the six of wands is here i'm sorry six of swords it looks like um, you two will try to uh, get resolution uh, you, you two want a peaceful separation because the six of swords is about moving into calmer waters so like, you too. You don't want to. You don't want a storm. You. 
you realize that um, probably you guys had your time and the time is up. Uh, it, like I said, the Eight of Cups is about something going sour. So you just want to move into calmer waters with each other. Um, make the separation as peaceful as can be. Maybe even remain friends. Yeah, this looks like a mature, a mature couple, <laughs> or um, just a couple that don't really like to fight. And because it's with a star current, once you realize that it's possible to remain friends or just to be at peace with one another, and there's no big blow up, or if you did have a blow up, now you're just you two are in sailing in the calmer waters. You feel good, you feel hopeful with the star card. Now you have some inner clarity, you can move on. There's no grief of the past. There's no grief left with left behind with this person. It's release. Because when you get the star card, any grief of the past is gone. It's release, you're rejuvenated. Uh, so now you feel hopeful about the future, you know? you're. You're ready to probably mix and mingle and get out there. Or if not, you just feel, you feel good. This is one of your most peaceful breakups or most peaceful uh, separations. It looks like you two will probably remain friends because there's no, there's no big blow up. Not with the Six of Swords. You move into calmer waters. And the star card is here. You feel great. You feel rejuvenated. There's no grief. If you had any, it's released. So that's the challenge that I have for you, Capricorn. Now let's take a look and see what the outcome. The outcome, we got the Hermit card, and it's with Temperance. So the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, and everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Kind of like a strength card. You could be in a frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying to do very hard the right thing, but you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So this hermit card, it's with temperance. Now temperance is showing that all your relationships, they're probably going quite well, but you may need to look at any personal issues that you might have and see if they're standing in your way and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, with your goals and aspirations. So the outcome is that it looks like you Capricorn, you'll be taking some time alone just to clear your mind. Maybe get rid of any baggage that you didn't get rid of. And Relationships is, is not a priority for you coming up. Yeah, you just got through with one and it looks like you're just gonna try to find temperance, which is balance and peace of mind. And look at you probably you'll probably be looking at anything you felt guilty about, any mistakes you feel like you've made, and forgive yourself so that you can move on and be ready for the next door to open. So it's about finding balance and peace. That's the outcome and spending some time alone just to clear your mind. So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Few weeks. Few weeks.